Hello, everybody out there in virtual land. My name is Mr. Fernandez. I am the school counselor at Middlesex County Academy for Science, Mathematics, and Engineering Technologies. With me today is Ms. Elko. She is the school counselor at the Academy for Allied Health and Biomedical Sciences. Thank you so much for having us today into your classrooms. We hope you're having an awesome eighth grade year and you guys are staying safe. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about our, our schools. We're gonna talk, talk to you a little bit about how to apply and we're gonna give you some important dates at the end of today's session. Uh, first and foremost, we just want to talk to you a little bit about making choices and, and options. So after your eighth grade year, you guys have options of which high schools you wish to attend. So most of you will attend your home district, but also some of you will apply to one of our two schools, okay? We want you to look at it like this. We're all making choices every single day. Ms. Elko, did you make a choice today? Yes, I did. All right. And what choice was that did you make? I chose to wear this dress to school today. Right. Ms. Elko chose to wear that dress today, and it's a, my, it's a fine dress, I might add. Uh, I chose today to wake up, eat breakfast, and come to school. All right, they're very simple choices that we're making, so we want you guys to not overthink that. Um, and again, just to keep in mind that you're making choices every single day. So something you might choose to apply to one of our two schools. Uh, we're part of a, a bigger district. It's Middlesex County Vocational Technical School District. There's five high schools in our district. Each high school has a specific area of focus and a specific area of study. So at Ms. Elko School, the Academy for Science, uh, Allied Health and Biomedical Sciences, what do you think their main area of focus is, is over there? And feel free to shout it out if you know the answer. I heard health and sciences in the back. That is correct. That's right. Oh, you guys, this is going to be fun today. You guys are super smart. At my school, Academy for uh, Science, Math, and Engineering Technologies, what do you think our main area of focus is? I heard math and science. Uh, that is, that, that's correct. We're keeping it simple for you guys today. So yes, um, we offer a rigorous curriculum. It's a higher level of learning, all right? Most of our classes here are on AP honors weight. So for some of you that do come here and have been getting straight A's your entire elementary school career, you guys, you guys might get your first B, you might get your first C, okay? But just know that we are a small learning community. There's a lot of help, a lot of good resources and good teachers that are always willing to help, okay? You're just like any other public school though, you're going to have your four years of English, you're going to have science, you're going to have math, you're going to have history, you're going to have health and phys ed, all right, so we're just like any other public school. Uh, we, we run on a block scheduling here, so a lot of, some of you guys might have block scheduling currently, some of you guys might have periods, so what block scheduling is, it's just two periods is considered one block, okay, so it's 88 minutes. So at our schools, that uh, the main area of focus, you'll have 88 minutes of those classes every single day, okay. We have sports, we have clubs to offer, and Ms. Elko is gonna talk a little bit about those two. Um, but a lot of your questions, the answers can be found on our websites, okay? We're gonna make sure that we're gonna give your fl uh, flyers out to your counselors that will have all that information on there. So make sure you grab one after today's session. Uh, Ms. Elko, do you want to talk a little bit about the clubs and the sports and a little bit else, you know, a little bit more about our schools? Absolutely. So as Mr. Fernandez was saying, students take uh, 80, 88 minutes of their all their core classes. In our school in Woodbridge, our students take three sciences a year. So when you guessed that science is a big focus at Woodbridge, that's how much we give. You know, science is everything. It's three eighths of your entire year. So the choice is easy. You either love science or in Edison, you love math. So Figure out which one you love more, and there you go. And those are our major focuses, but let's be clear, 100% of our school students go on to a four-year college like John Hopkins, Rutgers, Case Western, wherever the case may be, but they don't all become doctors. Um, and in Edison, they don't all become engineers. Sometimes along the way, we made this choice at 14 years old, some of you 13 years old. It might change, and that's okay. In Woodbridge, some go on to physical therapy, nurse practitioner, business route, and I'm sure Mr. Fernandez would say the same about his Edison students. Some will go a different route. That's okay. That's what making choices in life is all about. And you are lucky enough to be able to make that choice now and learn before you get to college whether or not this is the true path you want to pursue and the true field you want to pursue. I'm sure most of you want to know, what are we looking for? We're looking for well-rounded, diverse students with a passion for learning. Like Mr. Fernandez said, we are rigorous, we are honors, we are AP, we are dual credit. Particularly, 
we want you to have a passion for learning STEM. You must have already completed a minimum of Algebra 1 by the end of your eighth grade year. We look for good grades and we look for a good interview. We don't want our students to be all academic and never have fun though. We have clubs and we hope you will be involved in them should you be accepted. The clubs generally change with the population's interests, so I don't like to list them all, but there are quite a few regulars like FBLA, Future Business Leaders of America, HOSA, Health Occupation Students of America here, FBLA is in Woodbridge, Interact Club, Science League, Math League, Junior State of America known as JSA, Technology Student Association known as TSA, Computer Science League, Ethic Debates, and the list goes on. And of course we have student council in both schools. We have a few sports. Being such small schools, we don't have as many, but we do have some. Edison has, well, Edison and Woodbridge both have combined girls and boys soccer team in the fall. Woodbridge also has girls basketball in the winter and softball in the spring. And boys tennis also is a new sport we began last year. Should you wish to play a sport we do not offer, you may do so at your sending district. You don't get cut off from your sending district completely. That's your home school. But um, your parents would be responsible for getting you to practice and you're only dismissed early for games. It's a difficult thing to manage. So you'll definitely have to discuss that with your parents if there's a sport we don't offer that you truly want to continue in high school. The last thing I want to say is that if you are considering an considering an academy, you must currently be the cream of the crop of your school. That means you're, you're the top, you're the cream of the crop. You're the top, you're used to getting those a, uh, A's as Mr. Fernandez already mentioned, and probably you're the best in your class. But before applying to our schools, please reflect upon yourself and decide whether or not you can handle no longer being the best or receiving an A. As he said, B's and C's do happen at the academies. And they're okay because you have to remember you're no longer the cream of the crop or the you're the top of the top. You're just, you become the crop. So everybody's the cream. It's just become the crop. You're in the best of the best if you get accepted to these schools. And it only is one path to your goal. This was a choice you made. There are different paths, many different paths you can take to achieve your dream. Don't ever let anyone, including us, to tell you, you can't reach your dream. You absolutely can, but even if your path is not through one of our academies, do not take that as a sign you won't reach your dream. It's just you'll do so on a different path. So please remember that. And if in the end you do decide to apply to our campuses, we'll be having um, applications available online. They've been online since October 2nd. To apply, just go to our admissions site at mcbts.net. It's also, if you want to go straight, you go admissions period mcbts.net and create an account. Once you sign in, you just click on start a new application. All MCBTS applications are through this site. So be sure to choose the academy application, fill out all the information requested, be sure to have a copy of your birth certificate available on your device as you will be requested to upload it and have your school counselor's email address. The important dates to remember, Edison Academy will have their open house virtually on October 16th, 2021. Check our websites for the link. On Wood, Woodbridge Academy, we'll have their open house on October 23rd, 2021. Check our website for those links. Application due date is November 24th, 2021. And our admissions exam will then be on December 11th, 2021. So we look forward to reviewing your application and hopefully seeing you next year. If you have any further questions, come to our open house. And Mr. Fernandez, that's all I got. That's awesome. Thank you so much for all that information. We hope you guys have a better understanding of how our schools run. But like Ms. Elko said, any questions, definitely check out our websites and come to the open house because that's really where you're going to hear more from our principals, other staff members, and maybe some students too. Um, so definitely we'll check you out there. Have a great rest of your eighth grade year and we hope to see you soon. Bye guys.